Guys, I'm going to get back on our New Testament reading tomorrow in the book of John. But I want to take you back to the book of Genesis. This verse here, I'm going to read it to you. This is about trusting God with everything. When you have faith, you have to have faith that everything is his. And everything you have, you have to trust him with it. Everything. People, things, jobs, money, everything. Everything you have was created for a purpose. And God made the purpose that you should use whatever he give you to the full, but only in his will because he created it. So listen at this. This is Genesis 22. I want you to remember about faith. It says the offering of Isaac. This is Genesis 22, 1 through 14. When you trust in God with everything. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am, God, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and clave the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, with the horse that he took, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. He's going to take his child up to worship up on the hill. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac, his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they both and and went both of them together so they took everything in their hand up to the mountain and isaac spoke unto abraham his father and said my father he said here am i my son and he said behold the fire and the wood but where is the lamb for a burnt offering and isaac asked him well what are we going to sacrifice where is this lamb and Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his own son. And the angel of the Lord called upon him out of heaven, and he said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here, here am I. And he said, lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. Amen. I just want to read that to you guys because sometimes you trust in God, but your faith get weak. You got to trust him with all. He trusted that God would not make his only son a burnt offering. He said, this is what he told, he told his son Isaac. He said, the Lord will provide a lamb 
will provide something for the offering when we get there. His trust was in God. He said God will provide an offering, a sacrificial offering when we get there. But he yet, him knowing that this would be provided, he still went forth as he was told, trusting that as long as he was obedient, everything he needed would be met, and it was. So even though the obedience looked like, wow, this is what I have to do? This is what my obedience is to give up my only child that I waited all these hundreds of years for my wife to bear? This is, you know, most people would question that. They would be like, I don't think I can follow out. I don't think I could do it. But he, he did against all against all. He said, I trust God no matter what. And he told his son, he said, God, in other words, he knew in his heart, he said, God had never let me down. He said, God's going to provide a way out of this. But he yet, he went on and did what he was told to do at the same time. And then up here it says, question and answer, why did God ask Abraham to sacrifice Isaac in Genesis 22 and 2? It said, the Bible does not explicitly give God's reasons. Child sacrifice was common among the pagan Canaanite religions of the time. In this case, however, it was a test of faith, never an intention to eliminate a child's life. That's Genesis 22 and 12. It was also a unique test that has not been used since and likely will never be used again. The test carries significance for us because it prefigured the act of God himself offering his own son, Jesus, as a sacrifice for us. Amen. So it kind of just uh, let you know, you know, that to come, Jesus was offered as a sacrifice, which was his only son for us, for our sins. So, him putting the lamb on the wood as a sacrifice, it kind of, you know, that's what it said. It kind of prefigured what was to come. But this happened all the way back in the beginning in Genesis 22. That he trusted against all that what he was going to do, the Lord would provide a way, even in him doing that thing by him being, you know, following in the obedience. Anyway, that's all I wanted to read to you today, and uh, that was the word for us to read. So I'm going to read to you guys. Um, we're we're going to be, I think, in John 7 or John 8. So I'll read you to you that tomorrow. It'll either be later tonight or tomorrow. But thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.